Hello children. In this video, we are going to continue with our chapter algebraic expressions with exercise 9.5. The first question asks us to use suitable identity to get each of the following products. Here we are going to utilize the identities that we have studied already with the examples with activity. That is a plus b whole square equals to a plus b multiplied by a plus b. That gives us a plus b whole square. That is the answer for it is a square plus 2ab plus b square. Similarly, a minus b whole square gives us a minus b multiplied by a minus b. The answer for it is a square minus 2ab plus b square. And a plus b multiplies a minus b, we get a square minus b square. And lastly, an extra identity that is x plus a multiplies x plus b, we get x squared plus a plus b x and then a b. That is the third, fourth identity. Now here we have to identify which of these identity is suitable to get the product and then utilize it. So the first one is x plus 3, x plus 3. Here both the brackets are same, that, might, that means x plus 3 whole square. Since it is x plus 3 whole square, the identity that we are going to use is a plus b whole square. a plus b whole square gives us a, a square plus 2ab plus b square. Similarly, the a here is x and the b here is 3. So, a square plus 2 into a into b plus b square. Now, x when you square it, you get x square. 2 into x into 3. That means the numbers multiply and the variable remains as it is. So 2 3 are 6, 6 x. 3 squared we get 9. We use this identity. Similarly here 2 y plus 5, 2 y plus 5. Both the brackets are same. So identity that is going to be used is a plus b whole square. Now a plus b whole square gives us a square plus 2 a b plus b square. Similar way we get 2y as a and 5 in place of b. So 2y whole square plus 2 into 2y into 5. This 2 is from this identity. And then 5 square that is b square. That's why 5 square. Now 2y whole square. That means 2 square and y square. So 2 square is 4. y when we square we get y square. 2 into 2 into 5 we get 20. And then y 5 squared, 25. Lastly, we have 2a minus 7, 2a minus 7. Here, both the brackets carry minus sign. Therefore, the identity used is a minus b whole squared. And the answer for it is a square minus 2ab plus b squared. Similar process, 2a whole squared minus 2 into 2a into 7 plus 7 squared. So, 2a squared, that is 4a squared. 2 into 2 into 7 that gives us 28 and minus sign will be carried because minus into plus minus, minus into plus minus, 7 squared, 49. That's how we are going to do. Now the next question, similar one, 3a minus 1, 3a minus 1. Here both the brackets are negative ones. That is why we use a minus b whole square and that gives us the answer of a square minus 2ab plus b square. Therefore, 3a squared minus 2 into 3a into 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 whole square. Now here 3a square that means square of 3 that is 9a square that is a square minus 2 into 2. This by 2 and 2 get cancelled. So what's left is 3a, 3a into 1, 3a minus sign is 3t. 1 squared 1, 2 squared is 4. When we square the bracket, both the numerator and denominator has to be squared. So 1 when we square, we get 1. When we square 2, we get 4. So this is our final answer. Now here we have 1.1m plus 0.4. Now here the identity that we are going to use is a plus b, a minus b. Because 1 is negative and the other one is positive. Positive and negative. Similar one, so answer is a squared minus b squared. Now here in place of a we have 1.1m and in place of b we have 0 0.4. That means we are going to square 1.1m and we are going to square 0 0.4. So what we get is minus 1.1m one, one one whole square 
minus 0 0.4 whole square. So 1.1 will be square, we get 1.21. M will be a square, we get M square. Minus sign will be retained and 0 0.4 whole square. 0 0.4 when we square, we get 0 0.16. Now last one, A square plus B square minus A square plus B square. Now here, one is plus, another one is minus. Why? Because we are going to interchange the, uh, the uh, uh, variables, the terms. So here, B square plus A square and D square minus A square. That is why we are using the third identity. Now here, A square minus B square. But in place of A square, we have B square and B square that has to be squared. And in place of B square, we have a square which has to be squared again. So 2 2 is a 4. So B, B raised to 4. Minus A squared squared again. So 2 2 is a 4. So A raised to 4. That would be a final answer. Now the next one. Find the following squares by using identity. Here directly we are given the squares. Instead of brackets and finding the products we are getting the squared. Now here the square uh, is of positive 1 and this is square by, by using identity. Here directly we are given the bracket and the squaring. Now here since it is a plus and a square so we use the identity which is first one. A plus B whole square which gives us A square plus 2AB plus B square. Now here A is 2 upon 3M and B is 3 upon 2M. So that means A square plus 2 into A into B plus B square. Now 2 upon 3 M whole square. That means 2 square, 3 is to be squared and M has to be squared. So what we get is 4 upon 9 M square plus 2 into 2 into 2 upon 3 M plus 3 upon 2. Now here this 2 and this 2 get cancelled. This 3 and this 3 get cancelled. So what's left is 2 M N. And then here 3 is square, that is that will be 9. 2 is square when we get 4, then we get 4. n is square, we get n square. So our final answer is 4 upon 9 n square plus 2 mn plus 9 upon 4 n square. Now the next one is 0 0.4 p minus 0 0.5 q square. Now here the, so here 0 0.4 p minus 0 0.5 q whole square. So, the identity that has to be used is a minus b whole square. This gives us a square minus 2ab plus b square. That means 0.4p which is in place of a has to be squared minus 2 into 0.4p minus multiplied by 0.5q. And then 0.5q is squared. So we get 0.4 into 0.4, 0.16p squared, we get p squared minus 2 into 0 0.4 into 0 0.5 will give us 0 0.4 pq and 0 0.5 q when we square we get 0 0.25 square. This is the final answer. Now next we are going to use the identity x plus a x plus b. Because here we have the second terms as different in both the brackets. The answer is equal different. So it is x square plus a plus b x plus a b. Now here here x is in the place of x and in place of a we have 3, in place of b we have 7. So all we have to do is replace those values in this, this identity. So what would happen is x, x squared, so x squared. Now in place of a we, I said we have 3, so 3 plus 7 and multiplied by x plus x, 7 into 3 because we have a, b here, a and b are to be multiplied. Now x squared, you get x squared, 10, 7 and 3, 10 and this x multiplied with that 10, you get 10x, 7, 3 is a 21, this is the final answer. Now here we are going to use the same identity but in place of x squared, we are going to take x, y, z whole squared and in place of a we have minus 4, so minus 4 plus minus 2 and then x, y, z has to be multiplied with the answer for this. And then minus 4 multiplies minus 2. So x, y, z when you square it, each of the term, each of the individual variable will be squared. 
So x when you square, you get x square. Y when you square, you get y square. Z when you square. So here individual terms have to be squared. So x when you square, you get x square. Y when you square, you get y square. Z when you square, you get z square. So x square, y square, z square minus minus 4 plus minus 2. So both of them are plus into minus will be minus. So minus 4 minus 2. Both of them are negative 1. So we add and the bigger absolute value is with 4. So minus will be the answer. Minus 6 multiplies plus. So you get minus again. And minus 6 multiplies xyz. We get minus 6 xyz. Minus 4 into minus 2 minus into minus gives us plus. So answer is positive 8. So this is our final answer. Now the next question is simplification. Here in simplification we have to use the identities which are there. And then continue with the process. So here 2.5p minus 1.5q whole squared minus 1.5p minus 2.5q whole squared. So the first step we have to use the second identity a minus b whole squared. We get a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. And then the again the second identity a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. Now we have to subtract after we commit, uh, complete all the operations for the first bracket and the second bracket. So what we get is 6.25p square minus 7.5pq plus 2.25q square and then that's the first bracket the answer for that and the second bracket the answer is here 2.25p square minus 7.5pq plus 6.25q square. Now there is a minus sign so when we open the bracket we have to be careful. So 6.25p square first bracket remains as it is 6.25p square minus 7.5pq plus 2.25q square and then positive and the negative will give us negative so minus 2.25p uh, square minus into minus plus so we get plus 7.5pq and then plus into minus minus 6.25q square. So now this is negative and this one 7.5 is positive so they get cancelled. After that what we get is 6.25 plus 2.2 minus 2.25 we get 4 and then 2.25 minus 6.25 again minus 4. P square and Q square will be retained with them. So the final answer is 4 P square minus 4 Q square. Now the next one is a longer one. To look at but then here show that because it is a show that and we have LHS and RHS given all we have to do is equalize it. We have to solve this and get the answer as 0. So let's see if it works out. A plus B, A minus B. So here we are going to use the third identity. Similarly here again third identity, here again third identity. So what would happen? A minus B, A plus B gives us A square minus B square, B minus C, B plus C will give us B square minus C square, C minus A, C plus A will give us C square minus A square. And then A square, B square plus B square minus C square plus C square minus A square. Now here A square and A square get cancelled. Here a square and a square get cancelled, b square and b square get cancelled, c square and c square get cancelled because one is positive and the other one is negative. So all of them are cancelled so what's left is 0 which is equal to our RHS. Therefore it is proved. Now with that we come to the end of the, of the explanation. So this is all for the algebraic expression. Have a good day.